Hey there, art enthusiasts. Welcome back to This Art, the channel where we dive into the world of talented artists and their incredible artworks. Today, we're going to explore the captivating works of Augustus Earl, a British painter known for his unique style and adventurous spirit. First up, we have Portrait of Bunbury, a native of New South Wales. In this painting, Earl beautifully captures the essence of Bunbury, showcasing the rich cultural heritage of the indigenous people of Australia. Moving on, we have Bathurst Plains and Settlement. Earl's attention to detail brings this landscape to life, showcasing the vast beauty of the Australian countryside and the bustling activity of the settlement. Next, we have Divine Service as it is usually performed on board a British frigate at sea. Earl takes us on a journey aboard a British frigate, giving us a glimpse into the religious practices of sailors during their voyages. In Life in the Ocean representing the usual occupations of the young officers in the steerage of a British frigate at sea, Earl showcases the daily lives of young officers, highlighting their various tasks and duties while at sea. Now, let's take a look at View from the Sydney Hotel. This painting offers a breathtaking view of Sydney, capturing the city's vibrant atmosphere and architectural beauty. Moving on to Games during the Carnival at Rio de Janeiro, Earl transports us to the lively streets of Rio, showcasing the joy and excitement of the carnival celebrations. In Rua do Valongo, Earl captures the essence of a bustling street in Brazil, showcasing the vibrant culture and everyday life of its people. Next, we have Sydney from Pinchgate Island. This painting offers a stunning view of Sydney from a unique perspective, highlighting the city's iconic landmarks and natural beauty. In Views in Australia, Earl presents a collection of stunning landscapes, showcasing the diverse and breathtaking scenery of the Australian continent. Now, let's explore Capoeira. Earl captures the energy and grace of this Brazilian martial art form, showcasing the skill and athleticism of its practitioners. Moving on to Igro Fandango scene, Earl brings to life the vibrant dance culture of Brazil, capturing the rhythm and movement of the dancers. In War Speech, Earl depicts a powerful moment of leadership and inspiration, showcasing the strength and determination of those who fight for their beliefs. Now, let's take a moment of tranquility with Solitude. Earl's use of light and shadow creates a serene atmosphere, inviting us to reflect and find peace within ourselves. In Punishing Negroes at Calabuco, Earl sheds light on the harsh realities of slavery, highlighting the injustice and cruelty inflicted upon enslaved individuals. Lastly, we have Francis and Algernon Black. Earl beautifully portrays the elegance and grace of these individuals, capturing their unique personalities and charm. And that concludes our journey through the remarkable artworks of Augustus Earl. Stay tuned for more fascinating artists and their masterpieces on this art. Thanks for watching.